right, so 11.7 is surface area and volume of a cone. So we've already done surface area of a cone last week. We did pyramids and cones on a worksheet together. So I'll go over that like somewhat quickly. And we do a couple different types of problems, but so surface area is um, the perimeter of the base. Okay, so pi r squared and um, half, <coughs> excuse me, not perimeter of the base, area of the base, and then half the perimeter of the base times the slant height. So we talked about that again last week, that the perimeter is pi r, 2 pi r, and so the half and the 2 cancel each other out, and you just get pi r l. So instead of 2 pi r, the half of 2 is 1. So this is like when we're looking at a cone. You know, this first part is like the surface area. It's like the area of that. And the second part is like the area of like the curve to like part. Okay. Um, just you know, kind of as a visual. So <clears throat> um, in the book, like the first couple problems, they give you the slant height. So it's just, and they give you the radius and or the diameter. So it is just plug it in the formula. We did that like last week, so I'm not going to go over like the whole thing again. There's no tricks to it or anything like that. Um, there are a couple problems though, so it might say, um, you know, like find the radius if the surface area is, or you know, something like that. Um, so let's look at, you know, what that may look like. So if it says, um, so they are going to use this term called a right and so that's like the picture that I drew there so because technically you could have a cone that's like slanted okay so that's not a right cone okay a right cone will have a height straight down through the middle make a right angle and like you'll be good to go. So if it says, um, it'll say something like this, a right cone has um, a radius of, let's say three, and a height of four. Okay, find surface area. So these are the ones that, okay, it has a radius of three and a height of four. So remember, I need the slant height. So what I've created in here is a three, four, five triangle. Okay, and so then when you plug it in, pi r is three squared plus pi r is three and the slant height is five. So this is nine pi, that's 15 pi, that's 24 pi altogether. And let's see, it does want you to multiply it out. So 24 pi um, is 75 point, and it wants to go to the hundredths. So I have 398, which would be 7940. Okay, so you'll have a couple where you're going to have to look at that Pythagorean theorem there. So um, one of the problems you're for sure, because it's decimals, so just use Pythagorean theorem. You know, to say the diameter is 11.2, 
So make sure diameter, cut that in half. Height is 9.2, and then do Pythagorean theorem, but you're gonna to have to use like calculator because of the decimals, which is fine. Okay. All right. Um, so the volume, <clears throat> excuse me, um, is the same as pyramid, which we did last week. So the volume was one third, ooh, that's not a three. One third area of the base times height. That's the formula we used for pyramid. So the area of the base is a circle. So it's one third pi r squared h. Same um, deal uh, where the height is down through the middle, so that's the one difference between volume and slant height. Slant height, we wanted the height like kind of up the side. Um, volume, we want the height down the center of um, the cone. Okay, so there's not like I said a ton we can do to make the problem like harder. <clears throat> so just to kind of use like that last example, like a similar one. So if I said the radius was 6 and like the slant height was 10, I don't want the slant height. I want the height, which is this blue one. But that's a 6, 8, 10, so it's a 3, 4, 5 triangle just times 2. So 1 third area of the base, pi r is 6 squared, the height is 8. So 1 -third 36. So 1 -third means divide by 3. So 36 divided by 3 is 12. 96 pi. And again, they want you to multiply it out. 96 pi. 301.5. So just 301.59. Okay, so not like terribly difficult. Um, so there's, you know, let me see, height, height. There's one that gives you slant height. So you'll need to do Pythagorean theorem for that. The other ones do say height, so you're like good to go like there. Okay. Um, so then some other ones um, say, like, find the missing dimension. But it'll give you the volume or it'll give you the surface area. So I'll just do a volume one since it's right here. You do the same thing with surface area. Um, so if it says, like, the volume um, is, I don't know, 81 inches cubed or whatever. Um, and it has, you know, the height is 20. I don't know, I'm just making up numbers, see what happens. Um, so, one third, goodness, I'm trying to go too fast. So, the formula, one third area of the base times height, but I already know the answer is 81. So, then I have one third pi, I don't know what the r is, but I know what the height is. And so, you know what, just to change up the problem and make it a little bit nicer. I'm going to make the 18, or excuse me, 20 into an 18. Um, and just strictly because I can do 3 divided by 18. So I get 6 pi r squared. Um, you know, so it would be, I should have written that down, find radius. Uh, so then I'm going to divide by 6 pi. So this is one again. you got to remember that when you're dividing, you're dividing by 6 pi, which is that whole thing. 
So I would probably make do 6 pi and then write it down as a decimal. But 65 divided by parentheses 6, or no, 81 divided by parentheses 6 pi. And I get 4.297, so I'm going to go 4.30. And when we do the square root, square root of four is two, so this is gonna be barely bigger than two. Second square root, 4.3, 2.07. <coughs> okay. <coughs> so, um, you know, you'll have one that's surface area, same thing. Plug it in the formula. They give you the radius, and they want you to figure out the slant height. So just work out the problem, plug it into the formula, and then it's kind of a solving an equation problem. Okay. All right, and then the last couple, you'll have some composites. So remember, that means... Um, So you'll have like a cone on top of a cylinder. So let's see. So sometimes they give you the radius like at the bottom you kind of have to just transfer it up to the top so remember like the volume of the cone part is one third pi r squared h so <coughs> um one third area of the base times height and then the cylinder part is just area of the base times height so we've got some very similar, you know, formulas like to use, but, um, so we'd have, so I'm going to do the, the cone first and then the cylinder. So one third pi R is three squared times the height, which is six. And then I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to do them separate. So I get, uh, one third pi nine times six. So I can divide by three, but I only get to do it once. So nine divided by three and I get 18 pi. So don't divide the nine and the six. You could do, you get to divide by three once. So 18 pi is the cone. Then the cylinder, um, pi r squared h, so pi three squared times 15. 9 times 15, so that's 90, 135. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so that's the cylinder. And I'm just going to add them together. And I always, like, wait to do, because if they both have pi, you can just add them together. So that's um, 153 but I always wait till the very very end as long as possible to multiply by pi because then I'm just rounding off at the very end and I'm not rounding off somewhere in the middle and it throws off my answer so if I you know way back at the beginning if I did even if I did 18 pi and wrote that decimal 135 pi and wrote that decimal it's not going to be off by a lot. It might be like 48.67 or 68 or 65 or, you know, something. So it's not going to totally mess it up. But um, the earlier you multiply by pi, the more your answer is going to be off slightly. Not a big deal, but okay. So there we have it. Surface area should be a little bit of a review um, and volume of a cone. Tomorrow we'll do spheres. Definitely the easiest shape that we have. All right, have a great day, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.